After seven years on sale, the Jaguar F-Type has had its biggest update yet. You've probably spied the newly squinting headlights already, and if the bottom half of the internet is any kind of barometer, you might not like them very much. But please, reserve full judgment until you've seen one of these in person. This remains a wildly good-looking car in both coupe and convertible shapes, and the rest of its styling has largely been left well alone. Wise. The F-Tide's biggest stories also lie a few feet back from those lights. Chiefly, its V6 engine has gone, in the UK market at least, replaced by a new tune of supercharged V8. Yep, Jaguar has bucked all current motor industry trends and upsized the mid-range F-Tide's engine. Whatever will the climate change protesters think? At least they'll be marginally appeased by the ongoing existence of the entry-level four-cylinder F-Type P300, whose 296 brake horsepower 2.0-liter turbo engine continues untouched. Last year, it garnered 42% of F-Type sales, but Jag does expect the new 444 brake horsepower 5.0-liter V8 P450 to chip away at that share significantly. Sitting atop both is the also V8 567 brake horsepower F-Type R, which is the range halo now that the wild SVR has gone off sale, but not before donating its engine tune and suspension components to the R. All use an 8-speed automatic transmission, with the F-Type manual dropped from sale after a mere 7 were sold in 2019. Sad, but we'll cope, the ZF-derived paddle shifter is superb and was always our favorite anyway. The P300 and P450 are rear-driven as standard, the latter getting all-wheel drive as a £5,000 option, while the R is AWD only. The FS update also sees some tweaks inside, with an updated media system and new, fully digital instrument display that cycles between single and double dials or a big widescreen map just like the one Audi pioneered six years ago with the TT's virtual cockpit. Prices start at £54,000 for the coupe and a whisker under £60,000 for the convertible, topping out at £102,000 for a drop-top F-Type R. So once again, the F-Type lives in a curious middle ground slapbang between both Porsche Caymans and 911s, seemingly a rival to both with a broad spread of power outputs. It's got Alpine A110S and Toyota Supras to fret about these days too, as well as a reborn TVR. If the new Griffith ever actually arrives. The F-Type is a great sports car. It has been for seven years now, and a relatively light rejig doesn't rock the boat at all. Great if you relish a mildly brutish coupe or cabrio with a large engine up front, less good if you want something stuffed to the gunnels with technology. It continues to sit in its own little segment, though, priced between Caymans and 911s while doggedly offering something a little different to both. And with neater, more trustworthy handling than ever, a charismatic new engine and a sheen of extra modernity inside, it's not much harder to recommend than it was back in 2013. Whatever you think of those headlights. The big news is the arrival of the V8 powered P450, replacing both V6 powered P340 and P380 versions of old. Quite a task, given the latter was the absolute sweet spot of the F-Type range, way more character than the company car special four-cylinder, and little of the unhinged madness of the larger V8S. In short, it's absolutely nailed it. It feels nowhere near its 123 brake horsepower deficit on the F-Type R above it, makes nearly as much naughty V8 noise on full throttle, but is civilized and gentlemanly at low speed and on startup, thanks to a neighbor-friendly, quiet mode on the exhaust. It drives in a gentlemanly manner, too. Back in 2013, the F-Type arrived from a cloud of tire smoke, feeling madly exciting but a little TVR-ish when the weather was bad or you turned your attention for a second on a twisty road. Incremental improvements from JLR's annual model year updates have tidied things up a bit, while this new 2020 model gets a few chassis tweaks too. You end up with a car that isn't night and day different to those before it, just classier. Better. So much so, we'd advise sticking to the standard RWD on this engine and saving both money and weight. AWD is no longer needed to keep things reined in. Mind, it does make the more powerful F-Type R uncommonly neat to drive for a car so powerful, with its mischievous side only revealed at the driver's behest. A halfway house stability control mode gives you more than enough high jinks on the road and this remains a car of huge heart and humor. Just one that's £27,000 more than the very nearly as good P450.
And what of the cheapest, the P300? It's actually the neatest and lightest F-Type to drive, in objective terms, but even though its 2.0-liter engine is refined and pretty strong, it simply can't live up to its surrounding cast. You can drive the entry-level F-Type with the commitment of a hardcore hot hatch, but it's never a truly dazzling sports car.